Let me ask you a question. If you were to open up a human mind, you were to take out a person's brain, and you were to cut it open, what would you find inside? Well, you would find fat, you would find different types of chemicals, um, you would find proteins, um, you would probably find, of course, some blood, and different types of um, elements, correct? Okay. Now, if all that we are, if our brains are nothing but these different components um, interacting with each other, does that mean that our thought process um, has any real meaning, any purposeful meaning, meaning? Can we actually even trust these particles that are in our brain? And if you say yes, then on what basis do you say yes? I mean, your very opinion of, of saying yes is merely a product of these same chemical processes. So you're using chemical processes to say that chemical processes are valid, that they have worth, that they have any moral value, that they can make moral decisions, that they can determine the truth about the reality around it. And that is just circular reasoning, and there is no basis for that. There is no justification for it. It cannot justify itself. According to this very same worldview, uh, people don't even have control over what they think or how they act because they can't control the fluids and the stimuli that is reacting in their brains. So they don't even have the free will to determine what they believe or what they think. Now, unless you say there is a standard above um, this naturalistic point of view, unless you can say there is um, something that justifies, you know, right and wrong, the truth about reality, about what we observe, that there is something beyond human opinion, beyond these chemicals that allow us to determine these things. If you can say that, then you can say that this representation, this higher standard is the, God, the mind of God. This is the mind of God at work. Okay. This is abstract. It's something that does not depend on fluids. It does not depend on your personal opinion or on anybody's opinion. Okay, if you say, well, there's other chemical fluids and other chemical brains that are um, simply the reactions of different types of chemicals in the brain that agree with my chemicals in my brain, that's still not verification or validation of ke those chemicals and whatever they produce. Okay. So here's the funny thing, because a lot of these atheists who have, these, who have this naturalistic point of view, they want to come out here and say, hey, you know, the Christians are wrong about this, that they're wrong about that, and they want to talk about morals and whatnot, but they, they, they do it without any standpoint, with anything justifying um, what their opinions. They have no objective standards, nothing that is, can be determined to be true. And so they have no um, business going out there telling people that they're wrong when their own, um, you know, viewpoint, their own, the, the, the rational conclusion that could be derived from their worldview is that they have no ability to determine any type of truth, any type of facts, okay? So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, you know, it's just the way... To look at reality through their viewpoint, through the atheists, naturalists viewpoint. Now, not all atheists are naturalists, right? Atheism is just this idea that there is no God, which is, and and there's you know a, a, an idea that there's a disbelief, that there's simply disbelief in God. But any belief that they have is a belief, because according to naturalism, they have no ability to justify any opinion that they have objectively. Anyways, have a blessed day, guys. Take care, and I'll see you uh, another time.